Hello, this is Tom for the Star Frontiersman Volume 2. Doing a quick video review of issue 31 of the Star Frontiersman Volume 2. We have a fabulous cover done by Aaron O'Brien, one of our staff artists and editors. We also took over the layout duties for this particular issue. And uh, we have a very special treat for you from Tim Cask. Tim Cask legend in the RPG industry. Tim Cast wrote an article for us for the Star Frontiersman. And uh, this is, uh, I had been chatting him up concerning his Dark Colony module. And it was like, you know, honestly, Tim, this is a, like a masterclass on how you should put a module together. And, uh, you know, could you give us a, you know, maybe give us a little write-up on it, you know, a little something, something. And he was like, no, I'll, I'll write an, I'll write a general article on how to write an adventure. Would you want that in the magazine? <laughs> I think I would publish Tim's uh, shopping list in the magazine just to say I published Tim Cow. <laughs> yeah, that's the good wife over here. <laughs> Just some random scribblings, dryer sheets. Yeah, dryer know. sheets, uh, you know, vape pen, <laughs> uh, you know, get, get the stuff I need here. Uh, yeah, no, um, somebody likes Tim Cass says, oh, well, would, would you want that for you? Yes. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take your, your shopping list. <laughs> Uh, so, yes, we have an, uh, uh, writing an article is easy, and this was sparked by uh, me admiring his Dark Colony module, which I think is a really great module. And uh, so this is there for you. This is a nice treat to have in the magazine. There were a, a, a few articles in here that were written by various uh, authors uh, who write all the time for the magazine. What year is it? Written by me, a review of the Zebulon's Guide. Uh, a rule set for Star Frontiers, our Devil Triangle regular feature, and our Frontiers Most Wanted. But of special note, I want to bring your attention to the Rogues Gallery article written by Benedict Noir and his girlfriend, uh, Arzo Karina Renz. These two are some great artists. <laughs> Benedict does art for us all the time and very generously allows us to use it. And uh, so you, you get these... these Great art, and whenever you see his artwork and it's been colorized, more than likely it was colorized by his girlfriend, so they're kind of a team that way. And he did these character portraits, and that uh, that were uh, of of these tied to each piece of artwork. And I was like, dude, you got to let me publish this. And he was like, yeah, sure. Uh, so we we put together this. Uh, this rogues gallery of NPCs for your game. You get a great portrait. There's a lot of personality in these portraits and these illustrations. Um, really, the to me, the, the personality really comes through. There's action, there's stuff happening, and I just love the artwork. But uh, you get this nice rogues gallery of characters that you can drop into your game, use them as adversaries in your game, this is just a great resource, and I absolutely one of my favorite articles in this particular issue, right behind Tim Cast's shopping list. <laughs> uh, no, we didn't get Tim's shopping list, but um, feel free to send it, Tim. <laughs> yeah. Literally, we'll put it in a <laughs> frame. And we'll frame it. And, yeah, uh, you know, maybe we'll maybe frame it and hang it next to a Dragon magazine on the wall. Seriously. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, um, so the Rogues Gallery article, um, and then one of the other spotlights of this particular issue is the Operation Dreadnought, uh, subtitled When a Hull Size 20 Ship is Just Not Enough. And I quite honestly don't know when that moment is, when Hull Size 20 is not enough, because Hull Size 20 is obnoxiously big. But uh, this was the author, Richard Rose, Shadow Shack, uh, one of our favorite uh, collaborators. Um, just, you know, let's turn this, let's turn the, let's turn the volume button on this stereo component all the way up to 30. <laughs> you know, just, let's just take this even further. And so he imagined a dreadnought class of ship for Star Frontiers and did a, an adventure for us called Operation Dreadnought. 
And so that is basically what you're getting in this particular issue, the highlights and the lowlights um, of the map. This is Tom for the Star Frontiersman Volume 2. Thank you for checking out the magazine. We do appreciate it. It's free. Download it. The pay what you want is only if you care to leave a tip. We certainly appreciate the tip. Um, but otherwise, download it for free. Magazine is for free. It will always be free because it's a fan magazine. Uh, and please enjoy it. And uh, drop us a line. Send us some feedback. We do appreciate your comments.